saya Adam Bogatsky, Pak Tri, Acting Director General for Multilateral, Multilateral Affairs, Excellencies, Colleagues, Friends, Distinguished Delegate, Assalamualaikum and Good Morning. I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all participants. I want to thank the government of Poland for co-hosting this regional consultation with Indonesia. To all participants, your presence here today reflects unwavering commitment to the importance of Treaty on Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. We need to pursue our common goal to achieve a successful review process in 2020. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, we continue to witness trends that undermine the treaty, including modernization of nuclear, nuclear arsenals, threatening peace and security in our region as well as the global level. In spite of the fact that the most non-nuclear weapon states have kept our promise of not acquiring nuclear weapons, there is still a looming threat of nuclear proliferation. Indeed, there is a slow pace and unbalanced implementation of the 2005 and 2010 NPT action, uh, action Plan. On the other hand, we see discriminative approach in preserving the right to peaceful use of nuclear energy. Additionally, the grand bargain NPT in 1995 continues to be ignored. Very minimal effort has been geared toward effective nuclear disarmament measures. The creation of the Middle East as zone of free of nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction remain illusion. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, at this juncture, the convening of our conference today is therefore very timely to ensure the success of the review process. Furthermore, our conference today should be strategically used to seize the opportunity to strengthen our political commitment under NPT regime. At the first NPT PREPCOM last year, state parties reaffirmed their commitment to move forward, to move toward full and effective implementation of the provisions of the treaty. We are also committed to address the three pillars of the NPT in a balanced and comprehensive manner. We have enjoyed peace in our region, but it could rapidly change for the worse due to the, to, due to the continued precision use or threat of use of nuclear weapons. I hope that our dialogue can pave the way to renew our political commitment to strengthen the 2020 review cycle. Let us work together to a 2000 NPT PREPCOM meeting in April. To do this, I would like to underline five points. First, we must continue our collective efforts and align our political will to achieve successful review process vis-a-vis -vis strengthening three pillars of the treaty in a balanced and non-discriminatory manner. Second, 
the total elimination of nuclear weapons should remain is our shared priority. The reduction in deployment and operational status cannot be a substitute for a reversible cuts and the total elimination of nuclear weapons. Thus, the full compliance of nuclear weapon states under the treaty is imperative and this will enhance greater confidence in the disarmament and non-proliferation regime. Third, the inalienable right to peaceful uses of nuclear energy should not be restricted as long as the IEA safeguards and additional protocol are in place. Fourth, the humanitarian aspects of nuclear weapons and the promotion of the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons should be at the core of the current nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation discourse. Lastly, we must revitalize existing regional mechanism to hold the global spread of nuclear weapons. In Southeast Asia, ASEAN member states should continue to engage nuclear weapon states and redouble its efforts its efforts to resolve outstanding issues under Sound's first treaty. We need to continue to increase and foster constructive regional dialogues. Excellencies, distinguished delegate, allow me to conclude by underlining that the exercise of political will by all state parties is necessary to achieve concrete results. I am confident that with political courage and by working together cooperatively, NPT state parties in the Asia Pacific region can contribute tangibly to the success of the, re the next review cycle. As you all know, Indonesia was among the first countries to sign the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons on September 2017. And Indonesia is fully committed to work together with all of you in maintaining peace in the region. I wish you all success in your deliberation. I thank you.